It is Jeff, and I'm going to apologize. I'm live from a Panera in Harrisburg, PA. My voice is still not quite back from the conference. And I've got one of my conference friends here, Alicia Ray, who just moderated Master Chat. It was a fantastic chat. Uh, super excited that we were able to – Chad and I are on the road right now, and I was able to get settled down. Are you going to jump in? Chad's going to jump in too for everybody. So here's Chad. So there's Chad and Alicia. You're awesome. Uh, it was so awesome. We finally got to meet in real life this past week and at Teach Better Conference. And now you moderated Master Chat. It was like a perfect, like, early Teach Better 19, like, reunion. Uh, awesome. So how, how are you feeling right now after the chat? How was it for you? I'm so not going to sleep tonight. Like, I'm jacked up right now. This community is amazing. And it really was like a big reunion of last week. So I am like, I'm just pumped. I really don't know what time I'm going to bed. So if y'all see me on Twitter and Facebook at like midnight, 1 a.m., that's why. That's like sort of one of the fun things is like it doesn't stop at nine when we stop because you're going back and answering questions. Some people get, are getting it late and answering questions like slower or later times. So you're jumping in there. We have people that sometimes are jumping in and answering questions like well into Sunday. Oh, my goodness. Which is so much fun to go back and look at that and see all that and stuff yeah. like that. So it was it was really cool. Uh, so the topic was educational eye exam, which sounds very familiar to me because hmm. it's also your book, right? So yes. um, so tell us a little bit about sort of – I mean, obviously, it's connected to the book, so that makes sense. But why did you want to do that topic? What were you kind of hoping to give people in this chat or hoping that they took away from it? Yeah, so one of my big passions is your your educational philosophy. I don't think we give our educational philosophy enough um, time and consideration. We talk about it in our undergrad programs, and then every once in a while, folks will talk about it in their grad school programs. But it's something that we need to revisit regularly. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to make sure that folks had just a second to really think it's more than just a quick reflection. It's deep. It's at the core level of what you're doing, why you're doing it and what you believe about it. Yeah. Um, and I think that once you get to that point, it fires you back up. You can't help but get excited again about it. So, yeah, I love it. So, so when you were, were, you were laying out all the questions and thinking through those, were there any specific one or two questions that you were like, I'm really excited to see what people answer to this, or I'm really curious to see what people answer. Anyone say, okay, you're shaking your head, so obviously yes. Which oh, yeah. ones were those? What questions oh, yeah. were they? So the one about your vision changing, okay. um, I, I really, my vision changed drastically from the time I first started teaching 14 years ago to now. Mm -hmm. um, I was the one, I said in the chat, like, I shut my door. Do not bring that technology in here. Do not come bother me. I would nod my head at all the PD. And then as soon as PD was over, I would go back in my room and do the exact same thing I've been doing for the past several years because it works. Mm -hmm. um, and so it was like when I stepped out of my role in the classroom, I started being able to see the big picture. And it just meant more to me. And I, I think like I, I kind of joke about tunnel vision because everything's all vision related. It was like my peripheral vision opened up and I could see everything all around me and it, yeah. it lit me on fire. Um, so I was excited about that one. And then I was also super excited to hear how people were going to be um, helping their students find their vision, their mm -hmm. student vision, yeah. and how they're going to help them live that out. Not just finding your vision, but what are you going to do with it once yeah. you find it as a student? So, I love it. So so those are your questions. Did you, did you see the types of answers you were hoping for? Were there, were there any that really stuck out or jumped out? Are you like, oh, that was like great that you can think of right now? I know that's like putting you on a spot because like there was a lot no, going on. But. Yeah, there was so much. Yeah, there. I absolutely loved the responses from really the whole community. I mean, it was just like one thing after another. And there at the end, I mean, I think I finally got to like question five or six by the time everybody else was finished answering the questions because <laughs> you just get a little yeah, behind. Yeah. There's so much. I'm like, oh, I want to read that. Oh, I want to read that. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'll tell you, there was one, one, uh, person in here and I tweeted out something about them. Um, I think her name was Izzy and she was a high school student mm -hmm. and she was in our chat okay. and we were talking about how teachers 
must go back and revise and revisit their their own educational philosophy. We must continue to change to meet their needs. And I was like, dude, this is a kid. This is a kid telling yeah, us. How, that. how cool is that that we had a high school yeah. student in there telling us what's up? Like, right. that's awesome. Right. I was yeah, like, really you cool. get nothing else this entire time. Listen to what this kid is saying because yeah. that's who we serve. And if they're Absolutely. saying we want to change, then, you know, from the mouths of babes. <laughs> yeah, I love it. So, um, any, were there any, like, was there any general answer to any of the questions that really, like, maybe surprised you that you didn't see coming? Or maybe one that really got you excited outside of that one that we just talked about? Um, any that just really, like, from any of the questions that really stuck out to you or maybe caught you off guard or? Yeah, yeah. So there was one response that I really valued. I mean, I appreciate the response so much. And it was, um, it was a question, it was the question about, um, have, what's the benefits of having a shared vision? Yeah. And yeah. Then, um, I, I wish I could remember their name, but they said something along the lines of, um, you know, our vision doesn't have to be exactly the same. My partner values, uh, my teaching partner values, um, lecture more than I do. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. And I really appreciate that because yes, it is okay. What what's important is that our core values about our purpose is the same. I mean, you know, one person shouldn't be in there excited about their summers off. Um, sure. You know, it's all about the students. So I was yeah. really, I really valued that response. And that response is going to stick with me for a long time because it was 100% right. We have to build on one another's strengths. And I mean, have you met Dave Burgess? Like, hello, yeah. dude, the lecturer and one of the most engaging lecturers I've ever heard in my life. Mm -hmm. And he lectures and it's amazing. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's, I think that, that, that's a really good point that, and it's really important to always remember, like, just like what is best for you and your classroom doesn't have to be best for your partner, but that it's those core values, those core beliefs, those core missions and vision that that's important. So that's, that's really cool. I really love that. Yeah. With that, that shared vision and stuff. Um, yeah, for sure. I really like this. So I want to throw like one or two of the questions at you and have okay. you answer them for us here. If that's all right with you. So yes, let's do it. Hi, Brianne. That's a big, that's a high of eyes. I like that's it. That's a big old high. All right, so I feel let's like, talk. Is she from the South? That's What's a that? South high. She's got to be from the South. Yeah, high. she's in Ohio. She's in Ohio. What? No, yeah. she's an She's a transplant. Mm -mm. That's, a mid, that's a Midwestern high. I love it. I love it. <laughs> All right, so let's, let's look at this one. So, um, so I'm going to kind of like put a spin on this. So question two was, how does daily reflection impact your educational vision? So I'd be curious to know that, but also how you what how you go about daily reflection. Like, what do you do? What are some of the things that you do personally, um, or maybe that you help other teachers do when they're trying to do a daily reflection? Is there any like go to that you have? Do you journal? Do you voice notes? Like, or do you just take a minute? Like, what do you do? Yes. Yeah, so a lot of my reflection actually comes from the kids. Um, okay. I'll ask the kids. Ohio, I love her. Um, I'll, I'll ask the kids, you know, how do you feel like they're just in passing, just a conversation. Um, our library is a very safe space for them. Mm -hmm. So I feel like the majority of them feel comfortable telling me like, hey, Ms. Ray, this lesson blowed today. It's horrible. <laughs> You've got to do yeah. something, you know, and, yeah. and I appreciate that. That's the most valuable reflection that I can have is straight sure. from those who I'm trying to engage, those who yeah, yeah. Um, I want to grow from the experience. So I'd say that. And then also blogging has really been an outlet for me. Um, yeah. I, I don't know what I would do if I had never really started blogging. I need to get yeah. back to it. It's funny how um, I've kind of stepped back from blogging a little bit because, I mean, you write a 42,000 word book <laughs> and you just kind of like, I've said everything I want to say. Yeah, sure. Um, but now I'm starting to get back into the, you know, the, I'm getting the itch, right? Which is great, yeah. yeah. That's good. Hi, Adam. Good to see you here, man. Um, and oh, hi, hi, Katie, earlier as well. Sorry, you missed the chat, but glad oh, you've been here. Um, yeah, that, that blogging is a cool one because when you're right in to try and like put something out, maybe for other people to get value, you're really thinking through things and reflecting on what am I doing that's valuable? What do I have to say and stuff? So that's really cool. I like that. 
mm -hmm. um, brands that she loves with Kids Reflect. We had a self-reflection for kids at a conference time. Oh. They were so honest and stuff. We've done, I'm thinking of Love a couple it. times that, that Chad and I have actually gotten to sit with students who are in classes that we're working with, that we're training teachers to do different things. I'm thinking specifically of the grid method at this point. Right. And we, and we got to sit with, with students and have them reflect with us. So that gave us a whole bunch of awesome value that we were able to take to their teachers, but also that we were able to take with like, oh, things that we need to think about when we're training teachers and everything like that. So like students are such, like like you said, they're such a valuable piece mm -hmm. of, of mm -hmm. that. Um, so And they're really, gonna really cool. be honest. Like, like yeah, they, are. Said, they are just going <laughs> to be honest. And <laughs> yes. I appreciate their, their brutal honesty. Like yeah, it's important. It comes from a different place than yeah. it's, uh, it's, a typical it's, observation. It's just, yeah, it's, it's more yeah. genuine. Yes, it's, a, it's just a different viewpoint, but it's really important to, to have. And they'll think of things and say things that you just might not have thought about. And like it's, it's it triggers just all kinds of things. So it's really, really cool. Yeah. So, so this is Master Chat. We're talking about Master Chat, but I've got I've to go back because we were together over the weekend. It was amazing. I know I didn't get to talk to you much because it was just crazy, but I know you were in on like everything. You were at the networking, you spoke, mm -hmm. you attended sessions, you were, your book was there. For those poor souls who couldn't come out to the Teach Better Conference this year, can you tell us what, how you're feeling about it? We're, we're what, four days after, five days after right now? Like, Dude. what's your thoughts right now, Alicia? Like, I'm ready for Teach Better 20 next week. I don't understand <laughs> why no. it's taken a year <laughs> to get us to Teach Better 20. No, it was absolutely amazing. Like, from the second I walked in, the first networking event, I had just checked into my hotel. And um, on Thursday night, right before yeah, anything, yeah. Night, right? And I was, I mean, I had driven seven ish hours to get there, and um, I was exhausted, but it was like the second I walked in, I see these people that are like this big on my screen, right? <laughs> and I was yeah. like, oh, I know them, and so I went and was, I mean, it was immediate hugging. It truly, mm -hmm. somebody mentioned in a follow up blog. Um, that it was like a family reunion and yeah, absolutely. there, there is no better way to describe it than a family reunion. And yeah. the things that I learned, the people I connected with, um, the, the empowerment that I felt and the empowerment that I know that everybody that attended, if they did not feel empowered when they left, they didn't attend the same conference I did, you know, they, I, I don't understand how you can leave there and not feel like lighting the world on fire. In the best yeah. possible way. It's got to be a good yeah. fire. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Don't do that in a bad way. We need not that in a good way. Yeah. I know. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -mm. That's, no, that's awesome. That, that's the feeling. Awesome. That it's been so, it's been so cool for us to like see these different blog posts coming out and the podcast. So you got uh, John Meehan did a great recap on his podcast. <laughs> Um, I don't know if you if the Aspire podcast, Aspire Leadership podcast with Josh Stamper. He did. He was one of the, one of our three there. He yeah. just put out his first one, which was him talking with Dave and Shelly Burgess. He's got like five more episodes he's doing that are conversations. I, I know Jake, Jake Miller and Duct Tape podcast. He's doing several like bonus episodes. Mm -hmm. um, and then and then Nick and Matt from uh, you know Matt wasn't able to come in, but Nick was there from the Learning Through Leading, and Nick did a whole bunch as well. Um, oh yeah. Which was so I loved it because they were all sort of like, oh, I'll probably do a couple here or whatever. And they were all just like, oh, I, got, I did like 12, I did 13 because right. they were just talking something. So it was just really cool to see them um, recap. And I've seen these different blog posts of people talking about it. And we're getting to have conversations like, you know, like I am right now with you, but in right. talking through that stuff, it's just been really cool to see that we were able to pull off that, that feeling, which is what we were hoping to do. Oh, it was um, and amazing. We were such an amazing lineup, and we were so fortunate that so many amazing people were like, "Yeah, let's cut, let's do this." Right. Uh, so, you know, we're 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 all like, you know, sick to our stomach, nervous. Like, can we pull this off in 2020 again? Yes. But we're super yes. pumped. Um, so we're we're trying to get things ironed out here soon to get dates and, and stuff like that lined up so that we can put some things together and start going at it. But uh, no, super excited. And so I love it because I was able to come home and rest a little bit. Before I went back on Tuesday because we had Veterans Day. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yeah. We're, so we're, I got we're keeping that in mind as well. That's, so yes, it was amazing, absolutely okay. amazing. And I'll tell you, like I met up with um, Janelle McLaughlin tonight yeah, yeah. or last night. Last night we met up. She's like right. she was here in town. Well, relatively a couple hours away, and um, so I was like, shoot, yeah, we're going to dinner. Like so, I it was cool because we had just met. 
to see each other. I knew we were online, but you know, we yeah, yeah. and just immediately connected and I had to see her again. Like if I could go and take all of you out yeah. to dinner, just real quick, that'd be great. I'm game. Let's do it. I'll Let's drive go. down. Let's go. We can actually eat we're, we're, right now. You're at Panera. And I am at Panera. Yeah, I, I already ate, but I'll eat these chips if you want me to crunch. Okay. Those. Okay. I can eat Doritos. It, it's a thing. <laughs> That's perfect. Thing. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> I want to say hey, hey, hey to Eric, hey to Adam, hey to Jeff. Um, good come there. Uh, Eric, we do not have the dates. We're hoping to have them fairly soon. We're trying to figure out exactly what's going to work, make the most sense and keeping things in mind. We got a lot of feedback from people, like incredible feedback from folks that we're able to now utilize and stuff. So we're working on that. Uh, so we will make sure everyone's well aware of that as soon as we know. Um, I'm super excited about it. I, I was, yeah, it was, we were just amazed that the, the fact, I, I think the part that I really loved is that we did the network in the day before and so many people came out. And then we did a Saturday night network and a lot of people stayed and came out too. Like so many, I, there's so many conferences you go to that, and, and travel does this, so it's not the right. conference's fault, where right. like the day's over, you know, three or four, and then it's just, that's the end of it. It's done. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I was so happy that we still had like 30, 40 or so people that were out Saturday night, and we were out late. We yeah, had a good oh time. Just like sort of finalizing all those relationships and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And you know, we're like talking to people when it's like 11 o'clock, and we're like, what time is your flight? 6 a.m.? Oh, wow, that's crazy. But like, Right. I mean, we were sitting in our hotel lobby. There was a group of probably 12 of us just sitting down in the lobby Saturday night. And I I bet it was after midnight when we went to bed. Like you could just tell everybody was reluctant to yeah. see it end, you yeah. know, um, yeah. but that's the way good family reunions are. Yeah. I'm still trying to recover. Um, slept, relaxed a lot on, on, on Sunday. Didn't do a whole lot. It took my daughter to movies, but just hung out. Woke up Monday and I'm like, oh, and my wife's like, how you doing? I'm like, I guess this is a three day recovery thing. <laughs> so it was just a lot. It was a lot of physical with the setup and tearing down and running around like crazy, and then mentally just doing that. It was it was crazy, but it was so worth it. Um, we were so excited about it, and it was a blast. So I'm so excited that you were able to come out. It was really cool that then tonight you came here and and moderated master chat. So super super appreciative of that. Just appreciate you in general. So happy that we met. Aww, next time, next time you're coming out a day early, and we're just gonna like hang out for the day or before I, anything crazy. Goes. <laughs> I'll stay a day after, and then yeah, that, yeah, we can do that. We'll just like veg out for a day. It'll be great. So yeah, for um, sure, for sure. Yes, we'll do that. So back onto the master chat train. Uh, super excited there. Uh, we'll be back here next week, same time, eight o'clock Eastern, um, and we'll be back live afterwards. I can't remember who's next week. Um, I should know that, but I don't. All I know is it's going to be great. So, uh, so we'll see you all back here next week, uh, eight o'clock Eastern. Alicia, thank you so much for moderating, for being awesome in the chat, and for coming on and hanging out with me for a little while tonight. Truly, truly appreciate you, all of you. We will see you all next week. Uh, we'll see you on Twitter, and we appreciate all of you. Bye.